Free Lao Radio. Welcome back. This is Free Lao Radio. Now we got a couple things to cover, so we're gonna jump right into the news. Thank you for tuning back in, and let's get the news rolling. Missing Lao civil society leader's wife urges action on his case. RFA. 500 days after Lao civil society leader Samba Sampon went missing at a police checkpoint, his wife called on the United States Tuesday to press the authorities in the Southeast Asian state for answers over his disappearance. Ying Xu Ming, Samba's Singaporean-born wife, who is in Washington to highlight her husband's case, said she hopes in meetings with congressional and White House staffers to, quote, ask for whatever support they can give, unquote, to get to the bottom of the issue. Quote, I believe that Laos wants good relations with the U.S., unquote, Ng told reporters at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, calling on U.S. leaders to raise Sambas' case at regional summits. Quote, a statement from U.S. President Barack Obama or from Secretary of State John Kerry when they attend critical meetings, ASEAN meetings, will be very good, quote, Ng said referring to future gatherings of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, to which Laos belongs. Quote, I'm not sure what more can be done, unquote, Ng said. Samba, 63, has been missing since December 15, 2012, when he was stopped in his vehicle at a police checkpoint in the Lao capital, Vientiane. He was then transferred to another vehicle, according to police surveillance video, and has not been heard from since. 500 days after Sambaf's disappearance, quote, I am completely in the dark, unquote, Ng said. Lao officials say only that they are investigating the case and have denied involvement in the well-respected community development worker's disappearance, suggesting he may have been kidnapped by, quote, criminal elements, unquote, Ng said. Quote, my only desire is to see my husband return. Quote, for me, I'm not interested in who has taken Sambaf. I'm only interested in getting Samboth back, unquote, she said. Quote, Samboth is a Lao citizen. He was last seen at a police kiosk in Vientiane, and so I am appealing to the government to use all their resources to find the kidnappers, unquote, she said. Ng noted that Laos has growing economic and political links to other countries in Southeast Asia and outside the region and seeks membership on the UN Human Rights Council. It is also set to chair a meeting of ASEAN in two years' time. Quote, but some boss case has already drawn some negative impact on the image of Laos, unquote, Inc. said. Quote, I believe that it's good to continue to engage the Lao government and persuade them that if something like this can be resolved quickly, it will be in the best of the country, unquote. Laos has turned down international requests to provide assistance in the investigations into Sambas' disappearance, including a U.S. offer to provide technical help to enhance the quality of some blurry images of the surveillance video footage. Lao Media Silent Meanwhile, Sambas' case has gone unreported in Lao Media. Quote, Despite the hundreds of articles that have been published on the case, unquote, elsewhere. Quote, there seems to be a wall of silence that's fallen inside the country, unquote, adding that people fear discussing Sambas' case and that the space for civil society work in Laos has now narrowed. Civil society groups now need more government approvals to pursue their projects, Ng said. Quote, they have to make sure all their papers are in order before they continue their work. Some civil society groups have scaled back. Others have continued, but with caution." Unquote. Air crash kills senior Lao officials, leaves power vacuum. May 18, 2014. Lao Deputy Prime Minister Dong Chai Pachit, Minister of Public Security Tong Ban Sangapon, and two other high-ranking officials were among 17 people killed in a military plane crash at the weekend, the government said, leaving a power vacuum in the authoritarian one-party administration. Dung Chai, who is also a defense minister and a rising political star, and the other officials were traveling on a Ukrainian-made Antonov AN-74TK-300 aircraft to attend a commemoration ceremony in Xianghang province on Saturday morning when it crashed while approaching the airport, according to reports. 
They passed away because of the accident of the Lao Air Force AN-74TK-300 aircraft on 17 May at 7 a.m. in Nadi Village, Pek District of Xianghang Province, the official Lao News Agency, KPL, said in a dispatch. The cause of the accident is under investigation by concerned authorities, it said, giving little information about the crash in an area bordering northwestern Vietnam. The plane was around 2 kilometers, or 1.2 miles away from Xiang Kung Airport, near one of Laos's major archaeological sites, the plane of jars when it crashed, the state-owned Vientiane Times reported. The officials were on their way to commemorate the 55th anniversary of the strategic gains made by the Lao military during the Indochina War in May 18, 1959, the report said. Photos taken from the crash site showed the aircraft had gone down in a forest area and was severely damaged, leaving a large amount of debris on the site, it said. Foreign news agencies initially confirmed the crash through officials in neighboring Thailand, which enjoys close ties with Laos, whose government maintains strict media controls and tolerates almost no opposition. Aside from Dong Chai and Tong Ban, the KPL agency identified the other officials who perished as capital city Vientiane Mayor Sukhan Mahalat and the ruling Lao People's Revolutionary Party propaganda chief Chiang Sambun Khan. Dung Chai's wife, Tan Da Pichit, and some of his close aides also died in the accident, though three people, including a flight attendant, reportedly survived, sources in Vientiane told The Nation, a leading Thai newspaper. Dung Chai, aged 69, was in the Politburo of the Central Committee of the Lao People's Revolutionary Party, which has ruled Laos since 1975. The other three officials were in the Central Committee of the Nation's All-Powerful Party. Dung Chai was regarded as a second generation of Lao leaders and is believed to have climbed the political ladder quickly following the footsteps of President Chuma Lee Sayasan, according to the nation. He entered the Politburo, the inner circle of the ruling party, and took the defense portfolio in 2001. The sudden deaths of Dung Chai and Tong Ban have dealt a blow to the government and the ruling party, reports said. It seems inevitable that the deaths of these officials, especially the two ministers, will have an impact on the power structure of the party and in Laos more generally. The Associated Press quoted Simon Creek, a historian of Laos and Southeast Asia at Japan's Kyoto University as saying, especially with the next party congress, which will select the next generation of leaders less than two years away. The crash is the second in Laos in seven months. In October last year, a Lao Airlines ATR-72 turboprop plunged into the Mekong River in bad weather as it approached Baxi Airport in southern Laos, killing all 49 people on board. In April, the wife of Sumbaf was able to speak in Washington, calling on the United States to press Southeast Asian state authorities for answers over her husband's disappearance. Ying Shui Meng only wants her husband back. Unfortunately, one of the men responsible for Sambaf's disappearance was killed in a plane crash on May 17th. Minister of Public Security Tongbang Sengapon was killed. Since the wife of Sambaf has been actively trying to find her husband, this now only leaves two, I repeat, two remaining men who can still answer the question of where is Sambaf? Ladies and gentlemen, Please direct your inquiries to Major General Asang Laoli and Police Brigadier General Vilay Duamli. These two remaining individuals will help you find Sambath. However, if you don't act now, it is possible that these two may fall victim to the powerful hands of karma as their comrade Mr. Sengapon did. This will aid in the release of Sambath. Yes. I said release, as in Sambath is still currently alive. Special thanks to our hardworking intelligence members. I salute you. These brave intelligence members are the true backbone to our operation. Military school Namsuwang have informed us that Sambath is still alive and in the province of Vientiane. The Sambath situation will be a thorn in the side of the Lao government until it is resolved. Relieve your pain, country of Laos. Remove this thorn in your side and let the people have resolution, new revelation, 
information, updates to the disappearance of Samba. Answers are demanded. Improve your image. Since Prime Minister Tongsing Tamavong, along with his party members, are doing a great job at embarrassing our beloved country. Prime Minister Tongsing Tamavong failed to honor his words. Perhaps he needs to be reminded. Prime Minister Tongsin Tamavong, you stated that you would eliminate war from the people, avoid confrontation with arms, and instead resolve issues with peace talks, and most importantly, the guarantee to allow the people of Laos to elect their own party for the country. Coupled with the disappearance of Sambath, this lack of action from Prime Minister Tongsin Tamavong will not be tolerated. A call to action is now upon you. If no resolution is met by September 21st, 2014, international powers will take action. International powers will be moving in. It will be a no-win situation to either side if you do not voluntarily work with international powers. No matter the outcome, positive or negative, the current Lao government will be solely responsible. International powers have been informed that our special operation teams are ready to go. Our teams will conduct an in-depth investigation into the Sabath matter with ultimate diligence, scrutiny, all the way from the beginning of day zero. We were the first to receive the video footage of Sambath being kidnapped, so you can assess and assume our capabilities from there. Secondly, an independent but internationally supported poll will be deployed so that the people of the country of Laos, as well as the world, will have a chance to vote for the current governmental party presently in power or for the Lao Liberal Democratic Party. A preliminary poll has already been deployed and the results are currently tipping in our favor by a landslide. This alone should strike caution. We urge the Lao government to work with the International Peace Plan. We are the Lao Liberal Democratic Party, and we are fighting for freedom and liberation of the Laos people currently enslaved by the Lao government assisted by foreign powers. We wish to have the right to provide the people of Laos a sovereign nation to seek their own destiny, protect our motherland and borders, and to have a government by the people, for the people, to bring back national solidarity as one Lao. We urge the world, peace-loving world organizations and anyone who can assist and support us, the Lao Liberal Democratic Party, to fight peacefully, following a guidance of international law to invoke a free party election process completed by the end of 2014. A free election process for the people, by the people, to choose a new international representative party to the world for the country of Laos. Final warning or else we will proceed with the plan of action. Help us shed some light on the situation. Visit www.laofreedom.com For more information on our cause, or if you simply want to reach out to us, we are available toll-free with these contact numbers for Thailand, France, Australia, Canada, as well as the United States. If you are in Laos, we urge you to go to Thailand and contact us via the toll-free number provided. All information remains confidential and anonymity is respected. 24 hours a day, call us as many times as you wish. And please do say whatever you want. You are the voice of the people. For Thailand, toll-free, call 001-800-852-2000. For France toll free, call 0805-089468. For Australia toll free, call 1-800-987-617. For USA and Canada, call toll free at 1-888-218-4061. This has been Free Loud Radio. Thank you for listening.
เราจง